For dinner, I just have some avocado toast with an egg. I am so mentally drained and physically from cleaning out my closet today. <laughs> So with these pieces that I did in the previous vlog, I bought it into Procreate and I turned it into this. It turned out better than expected. So this is my printmaking final, um, final in quotation marks because honestly, I think my professor kind of gave up in general because he's like, no one has access to anything. What else is there that I can do? So for this piece, like I did for the previous two, I just used red ink and created a design. This time, I made it a bit more intricate. It took me around seven and a half hours, almost eight, because I tried to make this one the most complex one. My professor really liked it, and that was that. In case you guys couldn't tell, printmaking was my favorite studio class in the school year. So I took a break from my printmaking final to work out and to make lunch. I have some kimchi fried rice here with me and I'm just gonna watch YouTube while I do it. I don't know what happened, but like the past two days, I was suddenly so tired. Like I felt like my body was just floating around and I couldn't do anything. And I did that, spent like the two mornings just crying for like a full 10 minutes. I don't know what happened. My friend told me there was a Scorpio full moon like two days ago. So maybe that's why, who knows? I don't know, I just rested and like did absolutely nothing. It is currently finals week and I have like eight essays to write. And then I just have to work on painting and printmaking. So that's fine. This morning I woke up to the full blast sun in my room and it was so hot. So I got a headache from that, but I took a shower, which solved that problem
It is around 7 right now. I just finished working on my printmaking final and I'm so hungry. I just cooked up something really quick. I'm just having some stir-fried veggies with egg and then some beans and rice. This looks absolutely disgusting, but I mix everything so that everything's evenly distributed. <laughs> I am still addicted to frozen mangoes. I need to wash my sheets soon because my allergies are coming in. Ah, oh, this part is just so bad. I have my little humidifier on as I work because I don't get the point of writing essays like how is gothic Marxism going to help me in the future? It's not gonna do shit! <laughs> she likes chocolate covered strawberries and wine She likes notes that say I love you all the time Roses at your feet, baby girl be mine, baby girl be mine, yeah, hey, look, pick up your phone, I need your attention, my girl so bad, we call her detention, I am Okay, I finished these two, and now I'm gonna work out, eat lunch, and then continue working on the rest. I just have to get them done by, um, May 13th, it is currently May 10th. Today, I'm gonna do the 11 abs by Emmy Wong, and then after, I'm gonna do part of this full body burn hit, do the 15 minute thigh workout, and then do Chloe Team's ab challenge. Oh my god. <laughs> Done for today. Very productive today. I spent my whole day writing, finished all my English short essay responses. I did one part of my art history final responses. I just have to finish them tomorrow along with an art history essay. Uh, that was still a few weeks ago. That That's completely my fault. My brain feels like scrambled eggs. So I'm just gonna go shower now, go to bed, and tomorrow is gonna be another day full of writing. I will be free in two days. You know exactly what time it is. <laughs>
I am having a very sad bowl of tomato and bok choy soup as I try to figure out what the fuck is going on in my essay. I'm so confused as to what I am talking about. This is one of my painting projects. The prompt was to paint an interior and I created a dreamlike interior that was modeled off of my own room. Honestly, I didn't finish this because I got really unmotivated and my brain cells were dying by the end but my professor didn't really mind she was just like oh just send me pictures when you're done whenever love her For lunch, I have a really sad bowl of porridge along with coffee so I can stay awake. Freedom is near. I am free. <sighs> uh, I'm so tired. For now, I'm going to take a little bit of a break and then clean up my post-final disaster of a room. I'm gonna treat myself to some Chinese takeout today. Okay, no, I want this. I ordered pan fried noodles, coke salad, and I'm gonna watch Yura as I eat. I'm gonna play with some makeup because I really wanna try these falsies I have. And also, I don't want a nap because I'm gonna ruin my sleeping schedule again. But then I have to take everything off. You say you got it all, but then you start to fall down. You say no fair, I never cared. Keep talking all your shit. While I'm at it, I'm gonna put on contact lights. I look so scary. Your words that driving me crazy. Keep talking all your shit, baby. I am the world's biggest catfish. <laughs> Sophomore year in art school is officially over. The past two months went by so quick, I lost track of time. But it has been a good year, many interesting events. I have learned a lot throughout this year 
at school. My printmaking final critique went pretty well. My professor really liked my piece. So did my painting professor for my painting pieces. I have to admit, I did not finish like two of them because I just lost complete motivation. I don't know why. It's like really hard for me to finish a painting because I lose like motivation halfway through. That's something I need to work on. But she really enjoyed it and I told her once I finish it during the next few months, I will send it to her. And she was like, beautiful, okay. The past few days, I have literally written like 80 pages of words. It is my own fault for procrastinating, but I, as I said before, completely lost track of time and did not realize that school was ending in like three days. And I know my last vlog, I said I wasn't stressed. But then like the past three days, I literally dreamt about the topics, did not stop thinking about my topics that I was supposed to write about, but I basically finished all of them. So that's fine too. I am so mentally and physically exhausted. I'm trying to fix my sleeping schedule. That's why I did makeup so that I wouldn't fall asleep. I'm really proud of my printmaking pieces that I did throughout the year. However, for my major painting, I'm not very proud my work that I did this semester. I'm trying to explore new things and I'm like kind of lost and confused down that path. And I also realized, is painting something I want to do for the future? It should not be like this. Sometimes when I look at the pieces that my fellow classmates in painting do, I'm always like, wow, how do you, how do you paint so big? I just have no energy for that. And I think that's because I like to do detailed stuff. So I prefer working small. So kind of like more illustrative painting and stuff like, but yeah, I think I'm just stuck in a really weird place where I'm just kind of like confused, not knowing what I'm doing with my major, honestly, in art school. Honestly, art school is kind of a waste of money because I'm basically paying to do art by myself but it's just that one piece of paper that's like, you know but maybe I'm just stuck in a really weird place right now and I'll figure this out soon the next few months I do not know what is going on I will be staying here in New York that's all I know I don't know what I'm doing I don't think anyone knows what they're doing. There definitely will be videos every week and it gives me more time to like film stuff that I want and enjoy filming. But other than that, I guess I'm just gonna float in my apartment. <laughs> and I was also looking at my finals vlog from freshman year and everything has changed so much. And I was also looking at it, my fall semester finals from like a few months ago and I was like, wow, a lot of things have changed since then. Life is just constantly changing. And I just gotta go along with the flow. And sound a little brain dead right now. I've been running on like four hours of sleep every day for like the past few days. And my body is just not as young as it used to be. Like I used to be able to pull all nighters, but now I'm like dead after like four hours of sleep. I'm gonna take my makeup off and go to bed. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this vlog and that you guys are staying safe and I will see you guys very soon. Bye! Boop!